we've had uh, a number of really great guests. Everybody play the same. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something besides saying it makes me feel great. <laughs> because, because uh, it's it's actually pretty pretty simple that way. It makes me feel really great and happy because uh, he's such a great musician and he uh, he really gets gets my music. When I invited Lauren, it sort of added a new dimension to the to the to the band. Well, I think it's a fantastic band. I think the the writing is incredible. It's some of the most interesting music I've ever heard, actually. I think Joe's a just I can't say enough good things about him. He's just such a talented writer. But for me, it's a privilege to play in the band. And, uh, try and work on these charts and make sure I play all the notes properly. He's a little bit older than me, not much. I used to go and hear him play when I was first, first starting to play jazz. That aspect of it is important too. I think we all have people that, uh, that we kind of looked up to a little bit when, when we were first starting. I used to live in Ottawa and he used to come and visit there very often and play. We, we know of, of the Toronto guys, Kirk McDonald, uh, Lauren, Don Thompson, many guys there that, are, that we have sort of worshipped from afar, that, that we are influenced by in some ways, and I'm sure Joe feels that uh, Lauren is a perfect, you know, big time soloist and unbelievable accompanist for this band. It's a perfect voice to add to this band, which is full of really good musicians already. I'm not going to talk about his technique because I don't, I don't know much about that. I know he doesn't cut his fingernails, um, <laughs> and I can hear the things that he does with his right hand. So he has, you know, a, a very uh, personal, I think, um, sound. You know, Lauren is, is uh, his playing is, is kind of well suited to my writing, I think. He can, um, he can handle any situation that, that's thrown at him, for one thing, which is uh, pretty cool. He comes from the, the Ed Bickert School of Toronto guitarists, for sure, but he also has his own sound, his own way of phrasing, I think, and articulating especially. He's a very musical performer. It doesn't sound like he's uh, negotiating uh, uh, chord changes. It sounds like he's making music. Mon nom est Jean Fréchette. Je joue le saxophone baguiton dans l'orchestre de Joe Sullivan. Joe me laisse la chance de jouer quelques quelques unes de mes de mes pièces à, à l'intérieur de son groupe. Ouais, ah, Joe aime bien la musique, mais euh, personnellement j'aime bien la scène aussi. Je crois on est toujours porté à aimer mieux la musique des autres que notre propre musique. Mais Joe est une euh, grande inspiration pour moi. J'écrirais pas la musique de la même façon si j'avais pas euh, connu Joe euh, au travers de ma, au travers de ma musique. D'avoir Lorne comme invité avec le, le groupe de Joe, je crois que c'est une excellente combinaison. Parce que la guitare, c'est justement un instrument qu'on qu n'a pas dans le groupe. Donc ça, ça amène aussi euh, une autre sonorité qui, 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 est très, qui est excellente avec les, les, les big bands. Et puis euh, Lorne est un, un guitariste exceptionnel. Ça touche aussi dans, dans, avec la musique de Joe, c'est très bien. J'aime, j'aime beaucoup, oui. His music is influenced by uh, Jimmy Giuffre and George Russell, the two guys he studied with, and so those, that kind of sound is very prominent in his writing. Uh, to be honest, the first time I heard his compositions, I was stunned. I, I, 
was short of breath at first because I hadn't heard anybody writing like that and it really took me by surprise and it intrigued me that uh, this guy from Ontario was writing music like that. When I finally got a chance to play in the big band, the music really intrigued me and in fact has made me learn much more about playing jazz music. I really had to learn to stretch my sort of view of things, you know, open my world up a little bit, get, get the square to expand. I love playing in this band because I get to hear all the young players and the older players and I, I, I'm very challenged by the, by the music. We all are. All of us are really challenged by this music. I think it's liberating even to a certain point. C'est sûr que c'est pas complètement free, mais, euh, mais ça apporte tellement, à, tellement d'idées et tellement de, de, de matériel euh, à développer dans, les, dans, dans, dans le solo comme tel. Avec l'arrangement, qu'est-ce qui se passe, c'est que l'arrangeur euh, décide, il prend des décisions puis il dit « ben là, ma, ma tourne elle va s'en aller de là à là ». Donc, euh, tout la, la, le contrôle de la forme, va aider la créativité puis va aider aussi le soliste à, à se trouver une place là-dedans. Tu sais. C'est à cause de, de, de Joe aussi que je, je suis devenu arrangeur. Ça a été mon prof quand j'étais à, à McGill. J'ai, euh, j'étais allé voir un show à un moment donné de, de Ben et Joe. Puis c'était la première fois que j'entendais des charts comme ça. Euh, de big band qui n'était pas comme euh, commercial, si tu veux. Donc euh, ça, ça m'a vraiment donné le goût de, de, de travailler euh, l'écriture pour grand ensemble. have to remember and keep in perspective that jazz has become extremely diverse. Like any any genre, it, it's, it's going to split up into a multitude of different trends. I just think that Lauren is a traditional player that is very comfortable with contemporary harmony and, and approaches, but he's still a traditional jazz musician. And I consider myself to be along the same vein. You know, I, I like a lot of different kinds of music and I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, but I'm, I'm essentially coming from the jazz tradition and trying to, to move forward within that. I think a lot of, uh, of uh, jazz musicians feel that way uh, and try to write from within the tradition and to, uh, and to continue to grow uh, without abandoning the sort of traditional roots of uh, what we consider to be a common vocabulary. have to wear different hats like there's different facets to your musical personality you have to be able to be a solid accompanist and you have to listen very intently to what the soloist is playing while at the same time kind of adding fuel to their fire and literally from one moment to the next it could be completely different and there's no game plan which is the, the best thing you just it's like having a conversation with someone you don't know what's going to come out of someone's mouth And when, and when it does, you react accordingly. Whatever your reaction is, you're not even sure what your reaction is going to be. So having a conversation is exactly like playing jazz. You want it to be as open-ended as possible. And you certainly don't want it to be um, premeditated or formulated. That's a lot. That, that, then that, that denigrates the uh, the essence of the music. It's supposed to be music in real time of the moment. <laughs> <laughs>